everyone. In this video, I'm going to go through a practice problem, which is all about menu pricing. So just reading out the text that I have on the screen here, we're told that a firm has two consumers, one high demand consumer, and they'll be denoted HD, and one low demand consumer, they're denoted LD. The firm can produce a high quality version of their product, that's HQ, or a low quality version of their product, that's LQ, the marginal cost of production for both types of product is zero and there are no fixed costs. The consumer's willingness to pay is described in the table below and we're asked to show that it's optimal for the firm to offer a menu of options rather than selling only a high quality option or only a low quality option. All right, the strategy that I'm going to use when I answer this question is just to figure out our firm profit if they only sell a high quality option figure out the profit if they only sell a low quality option, and then figure out the profit if the firm offers a menu of both the high quality and low quality options. And that should be enough to show that actually this third option offering a menu is optimal for the firm. All right, let's think about the first scenario then if the firm only sells a high quality option. And there are really two ways that they could do this. They could price the product pretty high, in which case they would price out the lower demand consumer and only the high demand consumer would purchase the product. So if they did this, they would actually charge $800 for the high quality product. So PHQ, that's the price of the high quality product would be 800. And that's because 800 is the maximum willingness to pay of that high demand consumer for that high quality option. Now the quantity that they will be able to sell will be equal to one because that price of 800 is just too high for the low demand consumer who at most would pay $500 for that option. So that's our price and quantity. So now we can check profit. So profit is total revenue minus total cost. Now total revenue is just price times quantity. So the price of the high quality product times the quantity of the high quality product. The price is 800 and we sell one. And the cost here is actually going to be zero since as the question says, our marginal cost of production is zero and there are no fixed costs. So that's $800 in total. That's the profit if the firm only sells the high quality version of the product and if they price it so that only the high demand consumer uh, ends up purchasing, purchasing the good. Now, alternatively, however, the firm could charge a lower price and sell to both the low demand and the high demand consumer. Now, if they did that, the maximum price that they could set would be 500, which is the highest willingness to pay of the low demand consumer for that high quality option. Of course, that price is low enough for the high demand consumer. So both consumer types, the low demand consumer and the high demand consumer will buy the good. So the quantity would be equal to two. So we can figure out profit, which is again, total revenue minus total cost breaking down that total revenue component into price times quantity again, and substituting in, well, price is 500, quantity is two, total cost is still, still just zero, and so this solves to 1,000. And I'm just going to add in some brackets here, I'm sorry for the mess. Uh, I think these brackets are redundant, but it was making me uncomfortable. I'm not sure what's best, best practice here, please don't judge me, I just hope that the working out is clear. All right, from our workings then, we can see here that if the firm only sells the high quality option, then they would choose to sell to both the high demand and low demand consumer because the profit is more if they do that. So 1,000 is greater than 800. So 1,000 will be the profit if the firm only sold the high quality option. All right, now scenario two is if the firm only offers a low quality option and similar to the high quality case, we're just going to check whether if they did this, the firm would sell to both consumers or just the high demand consumer. Now, if they only sell to the high demand consumer, they would price that low quality product at 500. 500 is the maximum willingness to pay of that high demand consumer for that low quality option. The quantity of that low quality option that we would sell would be equal to one because that price of 500 is too high to engage that low demand consumer who only values that option at 400. So profit again, which is total revenue minus total cost. Well, this all reduces to 500. That's the price of the low quality product times one. That's the quantity of the low quality product that we're producing 
minus zero. Again, total cost is just zero in, in this case for the reasons that I said before. So profit would just be equal to 500. We could again, alternatively sell the low quality product to both the high demand and the low demand consumers, in which case the firm will drop their price to well 400, which is the highest willingness to pay for the low quality option from that low demand consumer. Both types of consumer will be willing to buy the good at that price. So the quantity will be equal to two, selling one to the low demand and one to the high demand. Profit then, well, again, total revenue minus total cost, total revenue is price times quantity. And that will be, well, the price is 400, the quantity is two minus the total cost, which is again, zero, so 800. So from our workings here, if the firm only offered the low quality bundle, they would sell to both the high demand and the low demand consumers because profit is higher when they do that. 800 is, is greater than 500. Now I know in both cases here, uh, I've ended up selling to both the low demand and high demand consumers, but that's not always the case. So you'll, you'll have to check. All right, I'm just going to clear my screen just to make some more space. I've kept our profits for each of the cases that we've looked at so far. So we have a record of that. Uh, but now let's think about the third option where we offer a menu. So we offer both a high quality and a low quality version to our consumers. And the goal in this case will be to get that high demand consumer to choose the high quality option and the low demand consumer to choose the low quality option. Uh, but we do have to get the prices right if we want to do that. And actually what we'll do first is we price the low quality package equal to the low demand consumers willingness to pay for that package. And then what we'll do is we'll work out what price we can charge for the high quality option, just to ensure that the high demand consumer chooses that option, that high quality option rather than the low quality option. So I do have another video on the theory behind all of this. So I'll link to it below just in case you're interested. I give a more thorough treatment about why this works. All right, so the willingness to pay of the low demand consumer for the low quality package is 400. So that will be the price of our low quality package in our menu. And then we're just going to think, all right, well, if the high demand consumer buys the low quality option from the menu, given that the price is 400, then they would get well 100 worth of consumer surplus from that purchase. So consumer surplus is just the willingness to pay minus the price. So the willingness to pay of the high demand consumer for the low quality option minus the price of the low quality option. Now the high demand consumer's willingness to pay for that low quality option is 500, the price we set at 400. So that's how we get that 100 worth of consumer surplus. What we're going to do then is price the high quality option so that that consumer surplus that the high demand consumer gets is matched. So you can see that high demand consumer's willingness to pay for the high quality option is 800. So we would price that option at, well, 700. That gives the high demand consumer 100 worth of surplus. So again, consumer surplus is just will be the willingness to pay of the high demand consumer for that high quality option minus the price of the high quality option. The willingness to pay is 800. The price, when we set it at 700, we get a consumer surplus equal to 100. That will go to the high demand consumer. Now, actually at these prices, the high demand consumer is technically indifferent between the high quality and the low quality package. Now to address this, we can make an assumption that when our consumers are indifferent, they're just going to go for the option that's designed for them, uh, which in this case is the high quality option. Or sometimes lecturers or teachers will say, you know, you can drop the price marginally, say $699.99, in which case the high demand consumer will strictly prefer the high quality option. I do talk more about dealing with this point of indifference in the theory video that I mentioned before. So you can follow up on that uh, if you need it. I'm just going to assume that our consumer will choose the high quality option if they are indifferent. So I'm taking that price of the high quality option equal to 700 to be our solution. In terms of our quantities, then we're selling one low quality bundle to the low demand consumer, one high quality bundle to the high demand consumer. And so that's our quantities. And so now we can think about profit, which will be equal to, well, the total revenue that we get from the low quality option, plus the total revenue that we get from selling the high quality option minus the total cost, which is just going to be zero again. 
Now I'm running out of space, so I'll just do a quick version and, and not put the that extra line in. So we can see, well, total revenue is price times quantity. So 400, that's the price of the low quality times one, that's the quantity. Plus 700, that's the price of the high quality times one. Total cost is zero, so we get, well, 400 plus 700, so in total 1,100. So you can see that we've shown that in providing the menu, we would get a higher profit in comparison to our other options, either selling the high quality option only or the low quality option. So we've kind of done what the question has asked. I should say though, that it doesn't always end up like this. Menu pricing is not always the best option. I will also say that I've designed this question quite simply. So total cost is a zero. There's only one of each type of consumer. In other questions, you might get more complicated scenarios, uh, but hopefully this video has helped you understand how you might approach questions like that. So I do hope the video helped. If it did, please like and subscribe. Thanks so much for watching.